Hi there and welcome to my channel, Change Me Better. So a lot of the times I've been talking about how to repair cars, how to do make softer towels, um, how to how to fix broken things. But today what I'm going to be talking about is how to actually do the 11 times table. Now we all know that it's very simple to go 11 times 5 equals 55. 11 times 6 equals 66, etc. That's really simple. Okay, but I've been working with Maria for two minutes to teach her big sum. So let's try a big sum. Okay, here we go. 11 times 23. Maria, can you give me that? 253. 253. Now, Maria's only eight years old, but she just did that sum exceptionally quickly. Let's do another one, okay? Um, um, 11 times 17 equals... 187. 187. Okay, one final one. Maria, 11 times 34 equals... Uh, um, 374. 374. Now, you can check these up on your computer if you're in your calculator, if you think they, they may be wrong, but she's doing them very quickly, and you're probably thinking, well, she's very clever, but... It's not to do with cleverness, it's to do about having a system and working out patterns. So I'm going to show you this, how to do this. And your kids will love this because if they're doing the up to the 12 times table just now, this just takes them one step above everybody else and gives them confidence uh, when if, they, if they're struggling in arithmetic, etc. It helps them build them up and it gives them something to show off to, to the other kids. It just builds up confidence. So let's work it out. 11 times 17. Maria, how do you do this? Okay, so you add 1 plus 7 and that equals 8. So you just add, and you just put 1 in front of it and add 7. Behind. Okay, so I'm going to show that again. Okay, this is what you did. 11 times 17. She takes the 17, puts the 1 and the 7 there, adds the 1 and the 7 together and gets an 8. Okay, so let's look at these sums that we did earlier on. 11 times 22. 23, 2 and 3, add them together, put the 5 in between. Times 17, 1 and 7, put the 8 in between. Okay, 11 times 34, 3 and 4, add them together, put the 7 in between. So you can pick any number. You can try this at home. 11 times, whoops, we're running out of pencil here. 11 times, let's say, 14. Okay, so let's, let's work it out as else. So you get the 1 and the 4. Add them together and you get the five. That's your answer, 154. So this is a really quick way of doing your 11 times table. Um, it's very simple. It's very, very easy. When you're getting up to the big numbers, uh, say 11 times, uh, 11 times, uh, let's see, 94, then you'll notice that you can't do the 9 and the 4 because now all of a sudden that equals 13 so you've got to carry one across okay now this is where it gets a little bit more difficult so i'm not going to show you this just work on that and if you're interested in this what i'll do is make a separate video on how to do 11 times 94 effectively it's very similar except that you're carrying you're getting a 13 and you're carrying the one across okay but it's uh this is a great exercise uh because it allows you to actually think do a little bit of mental uh, arithmetic adding uh, carrying two numbers and just adding those two numbers so to get that five okay so you're holding it uh, uh, you're holding some numbers in your head and three numbers if you've looked at my my video on the rule of three you'll remember that three numbers are something that you can uh, your brain can actually handle quite easily so this is a good exercise for just mental arithmetic thank you so much for uh, watching this video and I hope that you'll see you'll have time to watch my rule of three video because these are the videos that help to make children stronger and better uh, in their education thank you so much